Hi guys, Johnny with Blades Grass Lawn Care. Today we're installing Vinca. The Vinca flower is uh, it grows to about 12 inches high, and they spread 12 to 18 inches wide. So basically what we're gonna do is pack them in just a little bit tighter so we can get that nice lush look. They take a lot of water at the beginning, but then little by little, you start to take some of the water away. This way they can uh, kind of grow on their own. Now, I would recommend for landscape professionals, if this is something that you wanna do as an additional service, ensure that the person that you're installing this for has irrigation okay make sure that they have a good irrigation system because this has to be watered now this, that is the only way that you can give them a warranty on the installation if the individual doesn't have a uh, drip irrigation or an irrigation in that specific area then that's up to you you have to work that out and make sure that it's in writing because you have a lot of customers that are not used to watering plants and if they tend to not water as much as they're supposed to, especially in this hot savanna sun, then you're gonna be held liable. Now, the most important part of this installation is your soil. Guys, what I do when it comes to the soil is I would go to my local nursery and I'll ask them, hey, listen, go ahead and mix me up a good soil and just purchase it. Come in here, take this out, put in some brand new soil. This way it has all the amendments and all the nutrients that you need so your plants can flourish. Now, if you take a look, you see that we have some volunteers from last year. You can easily take these out, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave them and it just will make my border look a little bit more lush. Now, I don't know exactly what color they are, but that's something I'm willing to just kind of live with. My goal is to install all these plants. So let me show you what I do. Roughly, roughly 10 inch on center. Now, the only two that I'm sort of having a little issue is with these two, they might grow in too, too high and the light will shine. So we're gonna take these two, put one here, put one here. It is extremely windy and I hope that you can hear me. First thing you wanna do is mash in the bottom, take the spline out, lift the hole, ensure that you fluff it out. That's it. I'm gonna install all of these and then I'll show you the end result. All right, guys, this is a final look. Nice. Now remember, water at least twice a day for the first month and then back off till about once a day in, uh, in this hot tropic, uh, well, not tropic, but Hot climate. All right, guys, remember, if you don't have that soil where, you know, that nursery that can give you that nice, pretty soil, get your bag of that um, pre-made soil that they sell at the big box stores. Get your tiller, pour that on top, till it in real good, and go ahead and put your plants in, okay? No excuses, guys. I'm telling you, this is a good additional 
uh, service that you can be providing your customers. It's not as hard as people think it is, guys. All right? Thanks for watching. Pop smoke.